this chap, Terry Moore, I really yeah. like some of his stuff. I have to say, very clever. But you, he's at Southampton Academy. Um, yeah. So you he's, know. he's an interesting one. He's he was um, he's he's consults all over the world now. Terry, he's he's not at Southampton at the moment, but he was when we created this content with him. Um, but he's he was um, the Premier League's I think youth development coach of the year. Um, in, I think 2015, 16, something like that. You know, yeah. the, the caliber of this guy, his his story is actually really interesting. He was a coach at, um, in in South Wales, um, and he was coaching a young lad called Gareth Bale at the time. So when um, when Southampton were interested in this young lad Gareth Bale to go and play at Southampton's academy, they also recognised that Gareth's coach. Um, at the time was also extremely um, talented coach and, and that was Terry so that's why um, Terry ended up at Southampton he kind of went there at the same time that they took Gareth and he, he worked with him through that process when he was at the academy so it, it, an exceptional coach Terry and, and probably a new bit of information for you there Nick. It is it is uh, I, as I say I like I like the way that he delivers the sessions and I have to say Having watched some of these, it's affected the way that I might deliver yeah. my sessions. You know, I like to think that I'm my team's biggest supporter in terms yeah. of encouragement and so on and so forth. And I'm finding that I'm repeating a lot of the things that the coaches are saying in there. Um, yeah. Probably a subconscious thing rather than a conscious choice. Well, but that's interesting because that's that's quite intentional by the coaching manual is that it's all well and good finding a, a, a static session or getting a book of sessions that kind of shows you how to set a session up and, and what that session's about. But it's very key to what we do and how we see the game in the coaching manual that it's it's much better for coaches to actually watch experts deliver and look at how they build rapport, look at how they I mean, Terry Moore's a brilliant example. He's so calm and so um, easy-natured with his players, but his standards remain impeccably high. So he's very quick to identify when things haven't been done correctly by players, but he corrects them in a really nice, soft and uh, very informative way. And I think if that kind of behaviour rubs off on, on coaches, like you're saying it is with you, then that's yeah. kind of job done for us because it's not about... It's not. It's never been about what to coach. It's actually how you deliver it and why you're delivering it. So that's a. It's an interesting kind of view on it, that Nick. 